What's going on guys, Marty, welcome guys back to another Clash of Clans video. So today guys, as you can see, yes, I have actually changed my base. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I already got bored from the previous one. It looked pretty awesome, the trees of the previous one, but it wasn't that powerful. I kept getting attacked from certain points where it wasn't that protected. It was very protected from the front, but from the back it was pretty weak. So I decided to go ahead and it change it up to this new uh, design. And yes, I am back to the sort of circular shapes. They are really, really powerful and epic. So, in here, as you can see, most of my defense protected very well. Most of my armory defense, I mean, is protected very well. And uh, the only one thing is not very protected is one of my air defense on the left. Uh, on the bottom left, I suppose. But, other from that, every single bit is, like, protected very well, I suppose, to a certain extent. Uh, because you guys know, you know, I still have only was uh, level 7, I suppose. Uh, so, you know, sometime they're going to end up breaking spree and they're getting into my air defense and my uh, weaponry defense, I suppose. So, but for now, all looking good. I've had a bit of more wars to kind of play around with. So, I've kind of placed them all the way around these uh, top, you know, gold collectors, uh, gold mines, I mean, and Alexis uh, collectors. So, yeah, overall, I'm very, very happy. I've got, like, one big sort of square in the middle, as you can see. And four T's all around, which is kind of nice. So, my mortar here now finally is on level 6. Yeah, so I've got two mortars on level 6. Uh, this air defense here is pretty weak. Uh, you know, they usually destroy it pretty fast. But I'm trying to think where I want to place it. But I think for the moment, it's probably at the best place. So, wow, as you can see, I'm getting 25, 28,000 from some of these, which is really good. Okay, here we go. So, I've collected some of them earlier, but then I left some to kind of collect later. I really like when I collect, you know, my mines and uh, my, uh, you know, Alexis collectors when they're, like, pretty full. You get, like, a big bunch of money and Alexis, which is really awesome. All of my cannons, as you can see, they are now on level 9, uh, except one of them is still receiving some upgrades. As you can see, this what well, needs another 6 hours, 50 minutes. Uh, which is pretty awesome then i'll have all of my cannons on level nine uh my mortars looking pretty cool only one to go to level six and i'm actually upgrading as well down here my wizard tower to level four so i can have all of my wizard towers on level four before i actually uh, move to my archer towers and start upgrading them uh, and then i will have to go back into my wizard towers and hopefully get them to the maximum level before i can start upgrading my town hall to the next level which is going to be level nine but for now um, i'm just focusing on all of my you know uh, air defense, my weaponry defense, my cannon mortars, you know, all the whole lot, I suppose, and my wars as well. I'm trying to get to level 7. Uh, I've already kind of started upgrading some of them to like level 8 as well. Uh, my laboratory here is upgrading now the balloons to level 4. Uh, as you can see, all of my uh, troops, most of them are on level 4 right now. I've got my healer on level 2, my dragon on level 2, which I want to try as well, maximize, uh, hopefully, to level 4. And then after I get my town hall upgraded to the next level, I can upgrade them uh, any further. Uh, but as well my dragon is going to be my main focus next and uh, my spells as well they're all on level four i'm gonna try to get them to level five as soon as i can uh, so yeah that's pretty much it oh my raging spell is actually on level three uh, but other from that all of my other spells they're like on level four now i'm pretty happy with what i have done so far you know upgrading all the troops and stuff like that uh, everything looking pretty cool uh, what else what else hopefully i'm not actually missing anything uh, I think I've covered everything, uh, but this one here, I can't actually upgrade anymore, as you can see, they reached the maximum level um, under the Town Hall 8, I suppose, so I have to upgrade as well my Town Hall to level 9 before I can actually upgrade my mortars any further. Alright, so yeah, this is pretty much what I have actually upgraded and done since the previous video. I uh, hope you guys uh, liked what I've done so far, so what I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the battles and one of my farming attacks. Here we go. Alrighty, so as you can see here, we have a battle from KJ, and uh, it's a really epic battle. First of all, he tried to kind of bring out the dragon. He tried to bring out the troops from the clan, but he ended up to be a dragon. As you can see, so straight away, he spawned some minions, and he's trying to bring down this dragon super freaking fast. Most of the time, I see people using archers and stuff like that to bring down the, uh, you know, the dragon. This is personally what I usually do, but... This guy used the minions and as you can see he's going full on power with his air balloons which I haven't actually seen one attacking with air balloons in a very long time so you know what I thought that was different that was special some air balloons attacks in a war attack which is really epic and usually it's very hard to actually win it but this guy actually goes in and literally destroy the heck of this place destroys literally every single thing on this place uh, by the air balloons so the way this thing kind of worked for him you know when you actually spawn air balloons uh you gotta spawn them in a way that they would attack both sides of the village which he actually does but 
at the same time they just literally just go in and start destroying things really fast which kind of reminded me of how powerful air balloons are because i haven't actually used them personally for a very long time and uh you know what he does it really well as you can see the balloons there they kind of group up we're gonna just fast forward because he already destroyed all of the fence literally now always doing just, just trying to destroy the rest get a bit of money and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, yep, this is the first attack for today. He's gonna go now and just destroy the rest of these uh, Hots and then he destroy this one. Oh, there's one more to go. All right, here we go There's one more to go one more hot and uh, he's almost running out of time uh, And boom he destroyed the final one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first attack for today Let's go ahead now and check out one of my farming attacks. Here we go All right, so yesterday guys I have another battle for you and this one is a farming attack which I did last night and uh, you know what that was really epic I saw the town hall out there and I'm looking at his mines and his like Alexis collectors and they're like full and I was like you know what I gotta attack this guy I could see he's got about 170 plus thousand uh, gold there and he's got about 250,000 Alexis so I was looking to kind of get about 100,000 of each but I actually get more than I bargained for which is really really epic I actually go in with about 200 barbarians but you know what super freaking worth it because the amount of gold and elixir that I get is just super freaking worth it so I'm like you know what I'm gonna try to get the last of this sort of like elixir and gold from down there I can see this guy sort of got about 69,000 and I was hoping to get about half of that from this uh, gold mine down here which I end up getting about 20,000 plus just from one gold mine which is really really good uh, so overall Everything works really well and then there's another gold mine down there. I get another 20,000 or so and then I'm like wow Should I just go a bit more greedy and try to get that sort of Alexis storage at the top there? So I've spawned a few more barbarians, but unfortunately they died pretty quickly and the uh, rest of my barbarians on the right there is just literally just destroying the camp So I destroyed the rest of my barbarians I used a healing potion and then I spawned my king in the hope to get the rest of this sort of like uh, Alexis from the storage there, but unfortunately my king goes in the wrong end My barbarians get killed and he gets killed So I end up just wasting my king even though he doesn't really cost anything and uh, But what I really kind of got pissed about is wasting one of my uh, healing spells because I was really happy that I've kind of went in without any healing spells and I managed to get over 100,000 gold and 100 Alexis, but overall, you know what? It was still worth it. I still kind of covered everything and uh, had a bit more to spare. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, it like is very much appreciated. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Take care for now, and bye bye. Peace.